all of CIA training is training you how to lie. That's, <laughs> that's the job. The job yeah. is to pretend to be someone you're not in a place for a reason that isn't the real reason to do an act that isn't the real act and then to escape with the secrets that you've stolen that were never supposed to be stolen. Right. So all the other stuff, all the shooting and the driving and, you know, water survival and how to jump out of planes and how to dress and how to put on a disguise. All of that stuff is just fun, extra stuff around the core of the skill, which is really deception and deceit. Mm -hmm. So you do have to become very good at lying. One of the things that CIA actually looks for in its recruitment process is twofold. One, somebody has to be willing to lie. There are lots of people who are not willing to lie. There mm -hmm. are lots of people who have a physiological response that prevents them from being comfortable lying. So that's why there's so many psychological batteries, so that you can find the people who are naturally gifted, if you will, uh, at, at lying because they're willing to lie. They're naturally comfortable with lying. And oftentimes people with trauma are also people who are very comfortable at lying because let's be honest, if you've had trauma as a child, lies and deception became part of your core programming so that you could survive. You had to say you were fine when you weren't. You had to say you were happy when you weren't. You had to sit there and smile when you felt like crying, right? That's part of what happens to you when you've got childhood trauma. So the first thing that you need to that we need to understand about a good spy is that they have to be willing and capable physiologically of lying. And then on top of that, then that's where the training comes in, where they train you how to sync your verbal and nonverbal cues so that I don't verbally tell you something that's untrue while physically showing you that I'm lying. And then they also teach you how to refine your lies. For example, one of the core things that a skilled liar does that an unskilled liar doesn't do is skilled liars know you have to practice your lie. You have to learn how to think the lie and say the lie before the moment of lying. It's called a brain body connection, right? In this case, the brain is connecting to the mouth and the tongue of the body. So oftentimes when unskilled liars lie, they stumble over their words or they double back or they, they blubber or they look around, they look confused, they can't say it quickly and smoothly. And we've all caught people in a lie because they weren't very smooth and confident with it. Whereas a skilled liar knows you have to practice the brain body connection of actually telling the lie. So that's two different ways that a skilled liar can be developed.